Not upon my fairy surfing cherry. It's already going. Yeah. Get moving! Get moving! Go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> what? We did it! Today's vlog was filmed on the DJI Osmo Action 3. This is absurd. There was hail last night. Full blown hail. I don't know if you can see it on the board, but that's full blown hail and ice chunks. It hailed last night and then froze to the board. This is actually absurd. We have a big winter storm cold front thing hitting New Jersey today. The weather's kind of gnarly. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. These type of swells, literally anything could go down. There's like eight feet at 11 seconds coming from the east northeast. Bad winds, good winds. Some sites are calling it huge. Some sites are calling it chest high. There's really only one way to find out what the storm's gonna do. And we gotta get out there and see. One thing that happens a ton in New Jersey is checking it. So our sandbars shift all the time. They dredge the beaches, they do beach replenishment. There's hurricanes, there's nor'easters, there's cold fronts that kind of push down from the north. There's all types of different swells, wind, currents, wave sizes that hit New Jersey. A lot of times our sandbars just are getting, it'll be firing and you'll just be like, wow, like this is the zone and you'll show up the next day and it's totally different because the sandbar got washed out. Especially with these big storms that just hammer us for like five days straight, the sandbars can continuously change. It can hurt you if you're used to surfing in one spot. However, if you're willing to drive around a little, search around a little, you might find a wave that you've never even surfed that just for this week is firing. There we go. Trimmers. There's one right there. Team trim. Look at that. Cooking. I got some ideas in my head. I think today's gonna be really fun. The other thing about surfing in New Jersey is you have to be not only spontaneous, but you have to be the absolute optimist. A lot of times, I just grab my board, I suit up, and I just go. No expectations, no idea what it's gonna be like, and I just make it happen because, like I said with those sandbars, not only the sandbars, but we have a five foot high tide in Jersey, so it goes from about zero feet to five feet. That can change the surf a lot. There might be a window on a sandbar, on a little novelty wave, or even at the beach where it's only good for 30 minutes. So if you're not on it during those 30 minutes, you can miss it. Today is all about finding the dream. The winds are not good. The swell is pretty much too big, maxing out. Today our goal is to find some stuff that otherwise we probably wouldn't be surfing. So let's do this. No, dude, no. Five minutes into the journey, I'm already soaking wet. <laughs> dude, oh my God, it is going off right now. Move, it's going off, dude. Dude, novelty on, no joke. 
Honestly, we're kind of at the best part right now. Yeah, he's been getting better. Oh my god. This is this is so heavy. Hurry up! Hurry up! Here, bud. Here you go. Go for it. Oh, there you go. the wedge oh sand is not good boys we might have a couple wedges though am i gonna get wet right here maybe 
Is this where Noah Dean once stood? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think Dennis would sound like if he could talk? Is that real raggy? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Just like Scooby Doo. All right, here we go. This is all you need to know. You're chipping in right now. Chipping in? Yeah. I'm going down the line. Oh, look at that. It's Standing firing, up. dude. You're getting the cutty. Dude, and then it goes into the mutant zone. I think there'll be a couple cool looking ones. Yeah. And well, it is what it is, dude. It's another day in New Jersey. Well, it's another look day. Look at that. Look at that. No, Bam. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just all gnarly. Oh, uh, you gonna pull into some closeouts? That's what I'm claiming. Yeah. Ciao, Dennis. Daddy's got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, boy. Daddy got to go to work. All right, I'm gonna go catch a couple. <laughs> to the don't, dream. So, don't sound so thrilled. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go catch a couple. We'll see what happens. It could be something. It could be nothing. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something. the time is all right yeah <laughs> that's a tanker <laughs> that's a big one see those houses right there yeah that's our spot oh yeah wait for the wave to pull in like that that was money wait for the wave to pull it's in like right there yeah yeah <laughs> all right all right this boat's coming in five minutes so that ain't it? oh that's it coming in shut up we missed it hurry z hop on let's go let's go i can get you on the right push it out Dude, I can't launch here. Oh my god. <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> oh, Zeke. First time ferry surfing. About to pop my ferry surfing cherry. It's already going. Hang on. Don't jump the gun. All right, got to get that gun. Get moving.
The beginning of that wave was a five footer, dude. That thing was insane <laughs> off the takeoff. Where was my shortboard? Dude. <laughs> I was Woo! Hey, go, 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 go. I just got the sickest ferry wave ever. I hope you know that, you just scored. <laughs> That thing had so much power, I was tripping. Dude, that was sick. Why'd you lay down for so long? You were I, like, dude, the white on your box knees was powerful, <laughs> dude. You were like hanging out on your knees. I him get bucked off. I was like, I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. I gotta ride this thing to the knee. see your head bro and the one out the back was twice as big yeah. biggest ever biggest ever <laughs> he's claiming it i'm about to quit the type of surfing i do and join the novelty fairy surfing dream dude this <laughs> is insane dude i think if you do snaps like don't really cut back just do that typical zeke off the top like boom, yeah where you're down the line yeah you could get like nine turns like people think they're check turns but they're really like hard Powerful turns for me, like the best turn I'm gonna do. <laughs> One of those? <laughs> yep. So just race it, kind of? Right. Zeke it. Everything. 
came through, bro. He came through. Woo! Absolutely most epic ferry wave surf ever. Probably the biggest and best ferry wave I've ever seen. We switched out to the shortboard last second. <laughs> we finally did it. That was DJ. We did this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... it. He was like sitting in the pocket. This is about to be a historic moment or a total flop. Zeke's driving. I'm potentially gonna be on the wave of my life. Could go either way. Wish me luck. Let's Woo! Go. I've never been more ready in my life, dude. Never. Pluto! Captain Pluto's setting us up. <laughs> Dude, this is so heavy. <laughs> this is insane. Dude, what? Oh my God. So close to you. on the Jersey Shore. This is where dreams are made. All right, Nub Nation, thank you for tuning in to today's video. I honestly cannot believe the amount of stoke and how far and gnarly we brought ferry surfing. Literally five foot waves coming off the back of ferry boats, barrels. It looked like Kelly Slater's wave pool. The dream was 100 percent on and I am completely blown away and looking forward to seeing how far we can push this in the future. Today was an 
absolute monumental step for ferry surfing and novelty surfing as a whole. To end today's video, I wanna give a massive shout out to DJI. They sponsored this entire vlog. They are supporting the dream. They sent me this DJI Osmo Action 3 camera and we've been putting it to the test all week. So I wanted to end today's video by kind of explaining some of the shots and breaking down my favorite parts of this camera. Along with the Action Camera 3, they also sent me this dual mic kit, which came in handy the entire time we were filming. It's honestly, no joke, the best microphone kit that I have ever used. It's the easiest and it connects very simply. The audio quality is amazing. It comes with these two little mics, so you can do one person or you can do dual mics at the same time. So we use these for a lot of the talking pieces between surf scenes. You can either just use this as the microphone or you can hook a lavalier mic into here. It's pretty much one of the most simplest processes and this mic kit actually goes into the Action 3 camera so you can get high quality audio very easily while still using like a compact little production setup. So you're getting high quality video and audio just in the easiest way possible. Other than that, we also use the Mavic 3 Pro for a few scenes in this vlog. That's a drone, but I'm mostly gonna be talking about the Action 3 right here. First of all, I obviously like this camera because it's small lightweight and extremely versatile. You can take it out on a jet ski. You can take it out surfing. I brought it out with me multiple times where I filmed my own waves. I filmed my friend's waves. You can actually drive the jet ski with it in your hand and then pick it up and start filming someone very easily. Not only that, if you wanna move the camera around, say you don't want it on the floaty stick like this, you don't have to unscrew anything to move this camera. All you do is take it off and put it on another spot that easily and it goes on that quick because it's a magnet. I brought this thing out in the water, it was getting smashed by waves. Mac even lost it at El Slamo and it was floating upside down and we had no issues where the camera came off the magnet, so it's extremely durable. The biggest aspect that I do like about the camera is that it is an action camera, so it's small and you don't have to worry about lugging around a big camera and you're still getting 4K video, but my favorite thing that I shot with all week long was 4K 120. Most of the talking scenes I did 4K 30, but Anything surfing wise, I did 4K 120 and the slow motion looks absolutely amazing. I also use this setting, it's called Rocksteady Plus. It's pretty much like a built-in gimbal or a built-in steady cam to the camera and you could be bumping around on the jet ski going absolutely crazy. And between this and the horizon balancing, you actually have a completely steady perfectly still picture and it looks like you're moving on a gimbal and all you're doing is holding this camera in your hand and it looks like a perfectly smooth shot. Another thing that impressed me about this camera was the battery life. It comes with this charging pack right here which is epic because you plug this thing into the wall and you're charging three batteries at once and when you're done and you want to go out for the day you open this thing up and it'll tell you which batteries are charged. Obviously, if they're dead, they're red. If they have a little bit of charge, it's yellow. And then when they're fully charged, the light will be green. So you can pull whatever battery you need out of there. And I love it because you're charging three batteries at once. The batteries also lasted two and a half hours. Like we went out on the jet ski for two and a half hours and I only went through one battery. So that is really nice to not have to switch the battery out every like 30 minutes when you're filming. A few aspects that I enjoyed about the touchscreen on the camera, it's really easy to use. At the bottom, you can change your frame rates and your resolution. So all you have to do is slide it to the side. You have your stabilization up in the top right corner and you can easily play back the clips that you just watched and you can go into your library of clips and easily scroll through. But if you don't wanna deal with any of this, all you have to do is swipe down and you can lock the screen. So then nothing touching the screen is gonna change any of the settings or anything when you're in like a high action situation where you really need it to be on point. I used a 120 gigabyte memory card and it was perfectly fine. I never ran out of storage. There also is an option for digital zoom. This camera is fully submersible. I brought it out in the ocean a bunch of times. It was out on my jet ski. I dropped it underwater. It was floating around. It washed up on the beach. I got it covered in sand. I actually got the back of the camera covered in surf wax. And I have to say that this camera is extremely 
extremely durable. I would suggest washing it off with fresh water every time you come in from surfing or being out in the salt water. But other than that, this thing performed at a very high level and it was able to deliver all of these amazing shots that I just showed you guys in today's vlog. Some of these ferry surfing shots are moments in my life that I'll never be able to recreate. So massive shout out to DJI for sponsoring the video. This camera made this video epic. So I do have a DJI link. I'm gonna put it down in the description below and you guys can go check out their products. Mostly the Osmo Action 3 camera if you're interested in giving it a try. For me, it absolutely crushed it. So thank you DJI and Nub Nation for the win. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We went pretty much to the furthest limits of of novelty surfing that I've ever been. So it's going to be hard to top today's video, but we are going to try. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to it. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe down below. You can also leave us a like or leave us a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you next vlog for the dream.